Let's take a look at this problem. I got 6x squared plus 3 equals 4x. Now it says solve each equation by the method of your choice. Um, no matter wh what, and unless we're going to use square root property, we want to get 0 on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that 4x to the left side. So we've got 6x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Now I don't believe this will factor at all. So you have two choices. You can use a quadratic formula or completing a square. Now quadratic formula is always easier, so that's the one I'm going to use. With quadratic formula, again, you have to have 0 on one side, which we do. A is what's for your x squared, which is 6. B is what's for your x, which is negative 4. And C is your number at the end, which is 3. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Again, it's a good idea to put parentheses in everywhere you have a variable before you plug in your numbers. Helps uh, reduce uh, sign problems. Everything else remains exactly the same. I'm just replacing variables with parentheses. Now everywhere I have a b, I'll plug in negative 4. Everywhere I have an a, I'll plug in 6. And everywhere I have a c, I'll plug in 3. Now negative negative gives me a positive 4. Plus or minus. Four square, negative 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 6 is 24. Times 3 gives us uh, negative 72 and 2 times 6 gives us 12 so we got 4 plus or minus um, negative 56 over 12 let me double check that uh, yeah that's right always reduce your radicals before you go on negative 56 that's negative 1 times 2 times 2 times um, 1 14 uh, yeah, 14. So 14 is 2 times 7. Not that it'll benefit us any in this one, but there we go. That's the prime factorization. Remember the square roots? We're looking for a pair of something. Here's a pair of twi twos, not twelves. So that's going to come out, and we got a negative 1 also. So the pair of twos comes out as a single 2, and the negative 1 comes out as an i. And we're left with 2 times 7 inside, which gives us 14, all over 12. Now remember, with the quadratic formula, it should be a three-number rule. If you can divide this number, this number, and this number by the same number, do so. Well, they're all divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that basically drops away. And we got i square root of 14 over 12. Now part of your simplifying for the quadratic formula is if you have an i, split the real part separate from the imaginary. So put 2 over 12 plus or minus square root of 14 over 12 with an i to the side. Now 2 over 12 reduces, so it becomes 1 6 plus or minus square root of 14 over 12 i. And that's our answer.